As a new addition to my plant collection, this trailing philodendron, aptly named Velvet Leaf Philodendron, is such an adorable plant. Welcome to the channel, my name is Dina. In today's video, I want to show you my Velvet Leaf Philodendron or Philodendron Mycans. And I will also go over a couple of things I have learned on plant care to keep this plant happy in its new home. The velvet leaf philodendron belongs to the Araceae family and popular relatives of this plant are the Podos and the Monstera. This plant has one short stem and about five leaves when I bought it three months ago and as you can see it has now outgrown its tiny trellis here which is great. The leaves are heart shaped and they feel velvety to the touch and they have deep green color. From what I've read, looking after this plant seems so easy but I still consider myself a beginner when it comes to a lot of plants and the philodendron mycans is just one of them. So if you're also a beginner like me, let's do this together and just enjoy the journey of looking after a new plant. This plant prefers a well-draining soil but I will not be repotting this anytime soon. I plan to do that next spring or summer and when I do, I will use a mixture of one part perlite to four parts uh, potting mix as my potting medium. Now the amount of light you're giving your velvet leaf philodendron will have an effect on the coloring of the leaves. The more light will give it a more reddish maroon color and less light like what my plant um, has been getting will give it a deeper green coloring. Now I have been using a liquid fertilizer for this plant and I also let the topsoil dry before watering again. I have a pebble tray inside to keep the humidity up and we'll know soon enough whether it will survive the winter. Now the stems have grown long and it's beautiful as it is but I prefer this plant to look bushy and I also want to have it up in a hanging pot. So again, I will try and bend the stems around the pot and clip it down the soil and the tip will go in the water to be propagated. And this is a pebble tray that I have inside the pot to keep the humidity up. And here's the new look of my velvet leaf philodendron and here are the cuttings. I know it doesn't look as beautiful as it was before but it will be in the future. It will be thick and bushy and that's something I look forward to seeing. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content and leave a like and a comment and hit the bell icon as well and see you in future videos.